Welcome back, everyone. I have another guest with me here right now. She's been on my show with me once before. We're live on Facebook. So hi to everybody out there. Like us and follow us. We're going to be sharing this show uh, just a little bit. So I have with me Carrie Kaiser, and she's the owner of Kaiser Tax and Accounting. Welcome to the show. you got to tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do. So Carrie Kaiser, as you said, and I own Kaiser Tax and Accounting, and we primarily focus on small business owners, a lot of startups kind of informing them and educating them on different things that they can do to reduce their taxes legally, and also educating them on you know how to really improve their profits. Well, you know, when you came on the first time, and mm -hmm. I learned a lot about you a little bit, that, that was uh, interesting that for any business, not just taxes, you teach people on a day-to-day -day basis mm -hmm. pretty much how to run your, your business so that you are ready when the tax time season comes and you understand it more too. Exactly. Go ahead. There's um, a lot of people don't even understand when their taxes are prepared how to read them. So that's the number one thing. Does anybody read them? I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but I don't either. Okay, go ahead. So that's like the number one important thing for us because you can't improve your, you know, your status if you don't understand how it became that way. So just that's the simplest thing. And then, of course, with business owners, helping them understand what happened in their business so they can improve the results is also huge for us. So it's all about understanding so that when you go f to the next level, that's what you want is you want to grow. And how can you learn to grow if you don't know how to, what's even what you're doing, exactly. which most people don't? Uh, yeah, you do free consultations with people. Correct. You're valley-wide. And um, you're going to offer for everybody right now, it's a one-hour business training. Yes. Well, let me tell you guys, there's, this is invaluable if you own a business, whether you're in home-based business, it doesn't matter. If mm -hmm. they're at home, they have it. Not when I say that, it doesn't really matter. You need, if you have a business, you need to talk to her. You need to learn exactly what's going on, especially as small business people. We have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's $150 value free to you or anyone you know. Our number here, 602-277-5369. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Her website is Kaiser, K-I-S-E-R dot tax yep. and then you can also call her direct that phone number is 480-712-8122 she does free consultations but she's offering for everyone to get entered into win this one hour business training it's a uh, it's invaluable as far as i'm, con I'm concerned 602-277-5369 today before you came on you go carol i really want to talk about something special and what was that well, it's the number one question, especially lately, that I get asked. And I, I feel like if I can just help more people that don't have the opportunity to ask this question or don't know the answer, then that will help them kind of prepare for this tax season. And the question is? Why do I owe? Yeah, why do I owe money? I don't want to pay money, so why do I owe? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's really funny because it's a really simple answer that most people just don't know how to, how to find that answer. And if you are a W-2 employee, typically the reason why you owe is because you are not having enough taxes taken out. So if you are married and have two children, the safest thing for you to do is for you and your spouse, whether they work or not, but both of you claim married and zero. That's the easiest thing. You'll have enough taxes taken out that you will not owe. Especially with the Trump tax law changes, a lot of people are now taking the standard deduction. So because of that, all those things that they're spending money on, they're not being able to deduct. So therefore, a lot of people are ended up ending up owing more. And it's because they're claiming married in two, and each of them are doing that, which equals married in four, and they only have two children. Well, here's where it also gets complicated, is when you're divorced. Mm -hmm. Right, and then one person get well. It, what, it's not just when you're divorced; it's really more when the kids are now not living with you. Exactly, that's when it gets really sticky too. Yep. Go ahead. So now the children are under 17; they're worth 2,000. Over that, and in school full time, 500. Well, that's a huge difference if you're, you know, right on the cusp there. That if you typically owe a little bit, and your child turns 18, now you're going to end up owing 1,500. So huge difference. And what happens when they're over the age? 
So that's five hundred dollars if they're in school full time. If they're not, it's zero. It's zero. Zero. Is there anything new that's coming up at all for uh, the, for well for us people that are that are in that situation? Or no, that's it. You don't get it. Adopt some more and kids. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but here's the thing too: is a lot of us feel like, wow, my kids living in with me no matter what. You know, and some of them have p kids that are living with them much older these days, especially with what has happened in the last, you know, with our cr the, the, the crisis that we had. Yeah. Even though, yes, the economy is much better, there's a lot of things that are great about it, people are still affected by that. Many people that still have their kids that are even older that are, that are working, that are living with them. And what can happen is if you have a multi-generational family where the grandparents are actually taking care of the children, and it's more than 50% of their care, in comparison to the parent, the grandparents can claim that child, you know, under 17 mm -hmm. and get that deduction if they have income coming in. So there is opportunities for people to take advantage of those things if they're providing more than 50% of their, their care. It, it is a wonderful thing to have a, 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 a tax accountant that's going to get you the most deductions that you can possibly get. And that's what yeah. you want because yeah. you want to zero out is what you want. As long as you don't know, that's the good thing, right? Exactly. And so, the, you know, having you to talk to them about the, to the business people out, out there. Um, one of the things that you said that no one knew when you came in here, when we were we were talking, and you said because we asked you what was one of them, and it, it wasn't this; it was something else. Tell them what you can uh, deduct that people may or may not know. So a lot of people that have home offices, there's actually two things that people struggle with on deducting. One is home internet. Most everybody is now having websites, their accounting software is online, their email, everything is online now. You are required to have internet in order to function with your business. That is 100% deductible, because that's a requirement of you doing anything in business. And a lot of people don't deduct that. They forget about it, because they're personally paying for it, or they think it's only a percentage of the office, and mm. it's not. It's amazing. What else? The other thing is mileage. So commuting miles are not deductible. Mine just got higher, you guys, because I'm <laughs> every day a week. Go ahead. So the miles that you drive from home to work are considered commuting. Now, if you walk to work and you walk to your home office, and then you walk from your home office to maybe a regular office, or like for you, the studio, those miles are now deductible because you're going from office A to office B. And then you want to do the same thing as when you leave office B, go back to office A and finish your day. So Return emails, you know, check your schedule, administrative things, and then walk home. So let me ask you though a question. Do mm -hmm. we have to add that mileage? Or should we have like a little book that, that we are writing everything down? Are they going to be checking us is what we want to exactly. know. Exactly. So, so calendars, appointment books, mileage apps. There's several mileage apps that are either low cost or one. free. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like there's, there's easy opportunities to track your miles. I have one gentleman that just takes a picture of, of his odometer every time he gets in and out of his car. And I'm smart. That's the way he does it. That works for him. Mm -hmm. And so whatever you do, you just make sure that you have a record. You know, it's all about that. But you, and that's where you come in, too. Not only are you going to you give them these tips, but you're going to teach them way before how to do it. You'll probably come up with some much better things than taking pictures of your odometer, right? Exactly. <laughs> but that's a start. We need to start. So what else do you teach? about, you know, from business people? So a lot of businesses, um, it's kind of the phases of what, how do we need to start tracking our expenses? So some people, it may just be getting a separate bank account for your business and being able to pull all those transactions into Excel. If you're very small, that's maybe all you need, right? And then you may need to go to an accounting software. Well, I can help you with that, with choosing an accounting software that is beneficial for you and then train you how to use it until you get to the point that you no longer have time to do it or you no longer want to do it. And that's when we can help actually take it over. But in the meantime, we can train you how to do it yourself. Well, I think this is a great time for you to be on, not just because, yes, tax season is here, mm -hmm. but the real reason is, too, there are other people right now that have started businesses, quite a few of them. Yes. Now you're on your way. You know, you're all excited. You've got everything getting going. But you know what? You're probably the number one thing that people should be listening to and talking to because getting your business starting, having a website, getting your social media per people and all of that in place is wonderful. 
but getting all the business administrative part of everything is so important because yeah. what happens like me, I turned around and it was like, oh my God, it's 13 years later. I is it ever too late? Never. Never too late, Never. you guys. And so you're going to learn from her. She's offering for everyone a, a one-hour free training business. It's a, it's a, it's a, what is it? It's like a, 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 what do you call it? It's an education moment. It's an education moment. She came up with perfectly. <laughs> and so she's A-plus rated with the Be Better Business Bureau. She does free consultations. She's valley-wide. Invaluable, guys. Call in here and get it from me. Our number here is 602-277-5366. Toll free, it's 1-866-536-1100. Why do you owe taxes? Because you don't have someone like her looking out for you. That's why you owe taxes. <laughs> Give her a call. Her number direct is 480-712-8122. It's Kaiser, K-I-S-E-R, dot tax. Or call in here, get entered in to win. It's, an, it's a business training moment. Our number here, 602-277-5369.